everybody, Game of Thrones here, and welcome back to my new Super Mario Bros. We were in this episode, we took on levels 1 through 4, excuse me, well, 1 through 3 in the Tower of World 2, and in today's episode, we're taking on levels 4, 5, 6, and Castle of World 2. Let's go. I probably shouldn't have equipped a Super Mushroom before doing this, so I would at least be at level 2 before jumping in, but, hey. What you gonna do, I guess? Because the propeller head is crucial to this level. Crucial. I mean... Ugh. I think there may be a propeller head up there. I know this first star point's up here, for sure. Fight the wind! Fight the wind! Almost. Almost. Gotta jump up here and ride the piranha plant up. Alright, so now, the problem with this here is that it looks like it should be easy to climb up, but it's not, because the whole place is filled with blocks. Which doesn't exactly make our lives any easier. Unless, of course, you just kind of do this. Or not. That also... Oh boy. Okay. What's annoying about this is that the... They're all invisible blocks, but as soon as you punch them, they cease to be invisible anymore, so... That's what makes this very, um, annoying. Because you can, sure, you can get above it with the piranha plants, but if you miss your target, then you're gonna fall right down and have to do it all over again. Unless, of course, you do it like I did it, but then you still have to deal with the issue of getting to the exit pipe, which is right up there. Uh, yeah, this is so annoying. So I'm gonna try and clear the... Try and clear the path a little. Ugh, this is so annoying. You pretty much have to hit almost every single block in order for you to actually get through this section, because it's so annoying if you don't. Unless you're really good at um, parkour. But even then, I'm gonna hop down here. Alright, now you need a, a uh, uh, propeller head for this lap. Oh, come on. You need a propeller head for the second star coin. And had I not got hit by that piranha plant there, I would have had said propeller head. Oh! We're good. We're good. Midway points right here. You also kind of need a propeller head for star coin number two as well, so I'm gonna go ahead real quick and see if I can get one. Doubt it, but it's always worth a shot. I don't have to deal with the propeller head flying white. Got it, got it, got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. So now I just need to hold on to this for the third star coin and also the second star coin. Go into the pipe, into the pipe. Just so you know, as you probably know, until there's a steady blast of one that's gonna flow through throughout this entire level, but inside caves, it does not affect anything. So you're safe inside caves. Caves. The second you walk back out, you're prime target. Oh, I didn't intend to do that so soon, but you know what? It worked. Okay. Okay. Now this one's tricky to do, but as soon as the wind blasts, you want to make three- Oh, I failed it. Shoot. There's an alt- I'm trying to get to the alternate exit, and it's really hard to do. Like, extremely hard to do. Because you need to make three consistent dashes from platform to platform. Like, one- Unless, of course, you're there, in which case, it's all ruined. Great. Well, you have to make three consistent jumps, hopping from platform to platform to make it get a triple jump, and then you have to hop up to that other section, and go up to pipe, and then that's that. But I'm not gonna bother showing you guys the secret exit, because it doesn't really get you anything. The only thing the secret exit gets you is a skip to the to the castle, but if you're playing along with this walkthrough, then you don't really need that. Anyway, world to, world two dash five. Now you have a choice there, but like we did in in Tuesday in month, Wednesday's video, I'm just going to be sticking with the trend and going from you know five to six in numerical order, I should say. Ah, uh, and of course, everyone loves this level because 
Lakitu. <sighs> but Yoshi's here for the ride, so that's always nice, right? I guess. Anyway, the first star coin's right in that cloud, but you gotta be careful because, you know, Lakitu. I hate Lakitu. Who doesn't who doesn't hate Lakitu, I mean all honesty? Anyway, I'm gonna make sure I need to get Yoshi. Ugh. Hey friend! You wanna come? You wanna come straight to me? Why yes, you did come straight to me. Ah! Shoot, 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 Yoshi, no! Don't fall off the edge, Yoshi. Don't you're gonna make me very sad if you fall off the edge! No, Yoshi! Don't Okay. Now. Starcraft number two is not until the midway point, so we've got a pretty steady walk to go. Midway point. And like it was in World 2-2, I highly recommend hitting the midway point before getting the second um the second star coin. You know, it's good to take risks sometimes, but this is not one of those times. Ugh. Ugh, there we go. Okay, made it. Shoot Yoshi! <sighs> See, what's bad about this is that Yoshi doesn't come with us now. I mean, that doesn't make any logical sense, obviously, but... In the world of Mario, it apparently makes perfect sense. Anyway, we need this little light block so we can actually see where we're going. And to absorb fire, apparently. Ugh. But light blocks also kill the piranha plant, so we can use this as a bit of a stepping stone to get up here with a simple fall jump. Or a simple fall... A simple wall jump. There we go. Okay, the third star coin, we need Lakitu's Cloud. We need Lakitu's Cloud in order to beat this, in order to get the third star coin, which obviously is not easy because, well, Lakitu's Lakitu. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. Come here. You can also get it with the propeller head power up, but obviously we do not have the propeller head power up. Is there anything in this block? No, there is not. No, 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 got it, got it, got it. Okay, we're on a roll. Come on. Come on. Ah, darn it. Well, at least we get Yoshi. I'm gonna skip ahead until I get the second star coin and I'm back here with Yoshi. Alright, here we go. Should be a lot easier to grab the star coin now that we actually have Yoshi. If only because he can do the freaking flutter jump and Mario can't. So, found off here, flutter jump. So now we can actually move up through this pipe to try and grab the third star coin. I doubt it's actually gonna work because we all know how hard Lakitu is to freaking catch. It's like the Loch Ness, it's like the Loch Ness monster. Oh, um, never look a gift horse in the mouth. No clue how far I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna certainly try my hardest. And that wasn't even where this star coin was. Is that going to even spawn this far out? I don't know. I'm gonna say no. Lakitu does not spawn this far out. I need to go back and get him. But you need to be like the... The hat... Right here. You need to grab him right here. Because this is the last point. The... The... Oh. Ugh. Got him. Alright, here we go. Just keep moving. I try to reach the end without this popping, because there's no- Got it, got it, got it. Oh! Got it! Okay, we're on a roll. <sighs> Sorry we had to say goodbye to Yoshi. But let's say goodbye to this level! Whew! I really don't like that level. Alright, let's move on to world 2-6. the ice flower here we go to 2-6 and let's -a go I was totally out of sync with the music oh grab the propeller head 
God, it got speed ahead. First star coin collected. <sighs> the second star coin, I believe, is in a pipe, I think. Yeah, I think it's in a pipe. Could be wrong about that, but I'm 99% sure it's in a pipe. But I can probably confirm that right about Yeah, it's definitely in a pipe. It's in the screen pipe right here, as a matter of fact. Got it. Do 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 do. Alright, so propeller head up to the second star coin, and then we can. Also, if you don't actually have a propeller head, you can also use these things. I find them useless because you can't really do anything when you have them. Well, you can't do as much as you can, I should say, if you just had the regular propeller head power up. But the third star coin is pretty much towards the tail end of this mission, and you just gotta hop up to get it. I don't even think you need the propeller head to get the one towards the end of the level, actually. But these. these guys. Oh, these guys will get on your nerves so many times. It is not even funny. However, towards the end of the mission, er, mission? Level. Sorry, I've been recording too much Project Living Legends. Um, you are going to need him in order to get the secret exit. Because you cannot get it without him. Of course, you also can't get it without a propeller head. So, I'm kind of done. Unless I can actually manage to get a level 2 power up with these red ring bridges. Come on. Yes. Got it. Okay. Now the exit's right here, I think. No, yo, it's right there. See what I can do to reach it. Oh, you don't need if you don't have the propeller head, you have to bounce off of the little floaty guy's head in order to reach this. But if you just have a regular propeller head, then you can just kind of fly up. Now with this you'll be able to jump straight to world. Um, I don't know what world you can jump to. Seven, maybe? Five? I don't know. I think you- I'm, I'm gonna go world five. You know what? I'm just gonna go world five. I'm not gonna find out, obviously, but... Whew. I'm gonna say world five, and now I'm gonna sp speed ahead in the footage until I actually manage to complete this level normally. Uh, spin to the end. Made it, made it. Okay, success. I thought I was gonna be able to twirl on top of the pipe, but you know what? I'm content with what I was able to do. Alright, so now it's just a simple parkour from here to here to there. One up. Do 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 All right, so now from here, it's a it's a case of luck. There's no way to control which one of these go down under. Well, isn't that just luck? But if you do manage to step on one of the ones that take you down under, you have a bit of a boss fight. It's one of the one of my least favorite of these little mini bosses in the entire game because I hate these guys. I hate these enemies. Although when you have a pro head, it makes the process significantly easier. So now we're going to move on to World 2 Dash Castle. Well, actually, first I'm going to hop into this Toad House real quick and get an Invincibility Star. Then we're going to go to the castle. And that will drop us off in the Frozen World, where we will pick up next Tuesday. Alright. Luck. What are the odds? This one was one of the ones that went down under last time. What are the odds? Eh, whatever. Oh, boy. I actually think this one's a little bit easier because the balloons you need to collect aren't in as cramped of spaces. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Made it, made it. Skills. Got it. Drop. Okay, done. Whoop. Whoop. Ah, da, 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 da. Got it. Whoop. Okay, I don't even know what noises that was just making there, but we got all balloons collected, which means we can just fly over and ground pound into the chest. Well, the good news is we've certainly got plenty of mushrooms to boot now. Now, can we make it to the other... We're good? Oh, right, because we knocked out one of the... The spiny guys, they won't spawn back up again until we go into a level and come back out. So that's good. That's good to know. Alright, World 2 Dash Castle. 
Alright, so now, with a propeller head, all you have to do is just hop up here and grab this. But if you don't have a propeller head, you would have to go through the middle path up the fork in the road. Okay, or, I guess you could say fork in the road. Because there's three slots in the fork, never mind. <clears throat> anyway. So, it's tempting to go into the middle one because of the coins, but that doesn't lead you to the correct spot. You want to go up onto the top ledge right here. Unless you don't have to propeller head it, in which case you want to go to the middle path. To, le to collect the star coin, which is kind of keyed on by the coins at the start of it. But you'll hear the ding noise if you get it correct, and if you you'll hear an eh -eh noise if you get it incorrect. Anyway, second star coin is just if you blast through these bl blocks right here, and then you want to make sure you go into the- oh shoot. You want to make sure you go into the bottom section right here, because that's the one that leads us to victory next time around. And you have three of these cross- you have three of these- choice crossroads for you to do, and it goes top, bottom, middle, if you don't, yeah, top, bottom, middle, um, and I'll just show you where the third star coin is real quick, and then I'll speed up ahead in the footage, because, actually, no, I won't speed up ahead in the footage, because there's still, actually, yeah, I will speed up the footage until I hit the end of this section, because it's literally just walking, and that's not very entertaining. Credit where credit is due, though. This is a very innovative level design. You wanna make sure you hit the right one to get a fire flower. Over here, nothing. And into the doors we go. Right, here we go. And bump, 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 bump. This one, oh shoot, 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 I forgot about that, I forgot about that, I forgot about that, shoot, no, 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 come on! Well, I didn't forget about it, but oh, I didn't expect him to be right there, got him. You definitely want to make sure that you're not hitting him with fireballs, because that's never going to end well. You want to make sure you hop on top of him, because he's going to drop from the pipes above you if you don't hit him. And if, you, if he hits the ground while you're on said ground... Then you're gonna get stunned and he's gonna hit you. Fortunately though, we were able to evade him and grab the key to world 2 or 3. Still don't know which one it is. I'm gonna say the key to world 3, because in world 8 you don't get a key. Which must mean something. Wait for it. What? Wait, what? We didn't get all- What did I miss? Well, hello, Lemmy. How you doing? Okay. We're not quite done yet. Because we apparently missed a star coin. I wouldn't get the message. Oh, that's right. That's right, because we got Mini Mario and then we never used Mini Mario to collect the star coin. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna skip ahead in the footage until I get to the section where you need Mini Mario in order to collect the star coin. Okay, this is the section where you need to use Mini Mario to get to the third star coin. Toss those two barrels out of the way because somehow he's still strong enough to throw barrels out of the way. And then come down here. You wanna run across the water, wall jump here, grab the star coin, and you can go out the other way or you can go out this way. I choose to go out this way because you put you close to the end. Oh dear, who is this? Oh dear. Okay, third star coin collected of World 2-2. Now I can call off the episode. 
So thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to share the video with slam the like button and be sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for Leave me some feedback on what you would like to see next. Thank you. And if you would like, to, if you need the channel, why not subscribe for daily gameplay content? As this helps the channel out quite a lot. You get to watch my content every single day, and you will be notified whenever I release a new video. So until next time, this has been Gaming Magic Fifteen signing off. Saying I hope you have a good day, and I will catch you up next Tuesday for some more news from Mario Brothers. Goodbye!